How much do you love having glitter nail polish? I mean, come on. We just feel so feminine and so girly having sparkly nails. But then when it's time to remove it, oh my god, how annoying. I can't explain to you how annoying taking glitter nail polish off is. Like, you don't, you, I'm sure I'm not the only one that goes through this. Like, you're literally sitting there scrubbing, 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 scrubbing. Oh my god, it's not coming off. Annoying. Especially if you're in a hurry and, like, decide to paint your nails at the last minute, like I totally do all the time. Yeah, glitter nail polish. So inconvenient. So annoying. Why do this to me? So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take glitter nail polish off a much, much easier, faster way. All you're going to need is some nail polish remover, tin foil, aluminum foil, whatever you want to call it scissor and cotton balls for each and every one of your pretty little fingers so if you are interested please keep on watching for the tutorial okay so I'm sorry for the total boob shot right here but um yeah first you're going to start off with your scissor and a sheet of aluminum foil and you just want to cut 10 little squares of the aluminum foil I'm going to show you I cut a couple of out like they should look they should be about this big because these will be going over your finger um I'm going to cut out another one to just to show you so what you're going to do is just get your tin foil and cut cut it Okay, so now that you have this piece right here, I'm just going to cut it in half. And you want a piece that's going to be about like this big, so you will have enough room to just shove it on top of your finger. But yes, something like this should definitely be suitable for all types of fingers. So once you're done cutting those out, you want to get your 10 cotton balls and your nail polish remover. Um, okay, so first, make sure you have, like, a mat or something under you, um, because we are going to be working with nail polish remover, and we don't want nail polish remover ruining our furniture. That's a no-no. Okay, so first, what you're going to do is take your cotton ball and just completely drench it in the nail polish remover. Just make sure the whole entire cotton ball is filled with it. Then, after that, what you want to do is take your aluminum foil... And put the cotton ball on top of your little glitterful nail, like such. And then right after, what you want to do is grab your tin foil and just shove it right on top of your finger. Now, like this. And you should have like this pretty little silver boot on top of your finger. So yeah, what you want to do is continue doing this throughout all ten of your fingers. And um, I'm going to do that right now and I will be back shortly. Okay, so once you're done putting the tin foils on your nails, your hands should look like this. You should have, you should look like a monster of some sort, about to grab somebody. <laughs> no, totally kidding. But, um, yes, you should have your wet cotton balls, um, secured tightly within the aluminum foil on your fingers. Now, I recommend you leave these in for about 10 minutes, um, all depending on how much glitter you have on your nails. So if you have more coats of glitter, the longer you should keep it on. So I'm going to keep this on my hands for about 10 minutes, and I will see you after. Okay, so it has been a little over 10 minutes, I want to say about like 12 minutes, and I have had my fingers soaking in the acetone, and it is time to take these bad boys off. So, what are you going to do, and I'm going to show you with my one finger that's practically falling off, you just want to gently rub your finger and then pull it, and then... Your thumb or whatever finger should look like this. Be a little clean. Um, you'll notice that in the corner you will have just a little residue, but that is very, very easy to take off. So I'm going to go ahead and just wiggle this one out and pull it. 
and then you're going to have the little residue over there in the corner sometimes it comes off sometimes it doesn't depending on how good you rub it off see and you're gonna do this with all of your fingers okay and um like I said, this method, I find it ten times easier than just sitting there scrubbing, scrubbing, and scrubbing your nails. Um, I mean, like I said, you can use this way. You can do the old-fashioned just scrubbing way. But I personally like doing uh, this method better because I find it more effective and less time-consuming. So, yeah, this is what my nails look like right now. They're a little wet, but um, as you can see, they're a little better. Well, actually, a little better. What am I saying? They're a lot better, the results, than um, just scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Like, the only problem I do have is with the um, little gook in the corner. That is easy. You can just scrape that right off and just take that right off. But, yes, um, once you're done, you want to get a damp, wet paper uh, towel or a... Um, yeah, wet paper towel or a napkin and just wipe your nails and your hands through. And um, since you are working with acetone, it does dry out your nails and your skin since the cotton suave did make the nail polish remover get on your skin. So I highly, highly, highly recommend um, moisturizing after I am using Gold Bond Ultimate Softening Lotion. And this is actually fairly new. But yes, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my hand just to moisturize so it's not completely dry. And yeah, there you have it. Um, if you use this method, I hope you like it. Um, you can leave me video responses or um, any comments to how successful you looked. Sorry, this is like kind of creepy right now. I feel like my boobs are talking to you. But um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!